We don't want to hear yet another COVID variant. This one named XE has been identified in the United Kingdom. Local health experts say there's no cause for alarm yet. Crown Force Gail Ong has details. The new subvariant XE is a combination of Omicron BA1 and BA2. The World Health Organization warned about the new variant earlier this week. The main superpower that it has is increased transmissibility. UCSF infectious disease specialist Dr. Peter Chin Hong says preliminary data suggests XE may be about 10% more transmissible than BA2. So far, the United Kingdom has reported more than 600 cases. At this time, there are no known cases in the United States yet. With um, a lot of jurisdictions and countries um, reporting less frequently and doing less frequent analyses, uh, you may find that uh, before we know it, it's already here. Dr. Chin Hong says he is not concerned about the new variant. Neither is Dr. John Schwartzberg, an infectious disease expert at UC Berkeley. I would think that we would have seen more isolates in more places by now because we've known about it for a little while. Still, it could all of a sudden take off. The WHO is monitoring cases. Both experts say the best defense against COVID-19 remains the vaccine. In the long run, to get out of this mess of constantly chasing these variants is to get not just Americans vaccinated, but worldwide to get people vaccinated. Once we do that, once we get a high percentage of people vaccinated, the virus is not going to be producing a lot of new variants, and that makes it a much safer world. People shouldn't worry, particularly if you've gotten boosted. Um, and the Bay Area in particular is, is going to not see as many hospitalizations, we think, due to any one of these um, strains of COVID, be it BA2 or XE. But we may see cases in the community. And when those cases go up, you know, we'll have to decide how risky it is for certain populations to really go around uh, without protection. Gail Ong, Cron 4 News. Researchers